Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I want to talk about the next subject that we have in data mining. Uh, in data mining, we were talking about classification, and classification is a very important field in data mining. In classification, we are learning from data that the outputs are discrete. This is the main feature of classification. The output of the data that we have is discrete. We talked about the neural network classifier. We talked about the convolutional neural network. Uh, in this in this neural network, we had two jobs, feature extraction and classification, which was different from the normal neural networks. In the uh, last video I put in the site, I talked about the KNN classifier. KNN is a very simple classifier. I talked about it. It didn't have a learning model and all of the task of the classifier was done in the test phase. Okay, in this video I want to talk about the decision tree classifier. The decision tree classifier is a very important classifier that has good results in different data sets. Okay. The first point is that some of the data that we have, they are having a nominal features. What does nominal feature mean? A nominal feature means a feature that the values are a string. Okay? example here you see the color is a feature and the color has the values red green and yellow these are the values as you see they are not numbers they are a string values so a nominal feature means features that the values are a string and they have a limited number of values this is the important point about the nominal features. They have a, a limited number of values. Okay, so uh, we want to talk about this type of data and we want to classify this type of data. Okay. We talked about the neural network classifier and the convolutional neural network and KNN. In all of these classifiers, the data that enters the classifier is numbers. The inputs are numbers. In the neural network, in the KNN, the inputs, the data should be in the form in the format of numbers okay so this data i mean the nominal data it is not suitable to uh, uh, we can't use it in these classifiers that uh, need numbers okay so neural networks and knn they can't work with nominal features because they are not numbers they are uh, string values okay uh, uh, the neural network and the KNN they work with numeric data numeric data means data that is numbers okay now what is the solution what do we have to do what can we do for the features that are nominal 
and they don't have uh, a number values okay one one strategy one technique to classify nominal data is that we have a classifier that classifies data based on questions about feature values assume that we have a classifier that in this classifier we are classifying data based on some questions on the feature values okay what do I mean for example if we have if our problem is fruit classification and each fruit has some features like color size shape and taste okay then and these features they are nominal their values are not numbers they are nominal features the values are characters or strings what do we do what do we do for example we say what is the color okay this is the first question about a feature the answer is green the data that we have the color of the fruit is green and the second question what is the size and the answer is big and then the classifier based on these answers says that the fruit is watermelon okay as you see the in this classification we are asking questions about the feature values and based on the answers we are doing a prediction okay so this is a very simple method for classifying nominal data now how could we represent this method how could we show this method okay so we need a classifier that in this classifier we are asking some questions about the feature values okay assume that we have a tree and in this tree in the nodes there are some feature values for example the color the size the shape the taste okay in the in this tree the nodes that are not leaves like this one the internal nodes inside them there is a feature for example here is size shape size taste size okay so we have a tree here that inside this tree in the uh, internal nodes we have some features and in the leaves we have the classes of our data okay now if you look at this in the root node we are asking what is the color and we give an answer and then if the color is green it asks what is the size and then it gives an answer to us okay so the point that we said that we want to classify the nominal data using some questions on feature values this could be done using this tree this tree is representing some questions on the feature values and based on uh, based on our answer it goes to the next node 
Okay, so this tree is representing a classifier. Okay, as I said. In the node, in the internal node, we have features like color or size. In the branches, in the branches of the node, we have the feature values. And then, as I said, the leaves are the labels. Okay, so this is the structure of this tree. So we could use this tree to for doing classification. In the decision tree classifier, the learning model is a tree. With the tree, we are establishing a relation between the inputs and output. The inputs are in the internal nodes of the tree and the outputs are in the leaf nodes. So they are uh, related to each other using this tree. Okay. In the decision tree classifier, we are using the data to build this classifier. Okay, so the learning model is a tree and we use the training data to build this tree. Okay, so we want to build a tree and this tree represents our classifier. Okay, another point about the decision tree classifier is that in this classifier, the tree divides the data into subgroups as it is being built. Okay, what does this mean? Dividing the data into subgroups. Okay, when we are in the root node, the question is, what is the color? And then we say, for example, green. So we come into this branch. And the next question is, what is the size? Okay. Uh, when we come into this branch, it means that we are being uh, limited to the data that the color feature is green. In this branch, the data that we have in this branch is the data that the color feature is green. In this branch, the color feature is yellow, and here it is red. This, this is the meaning of dividing the data into subgroups. And when, for example, when we are here, the color is yellow, and the shape is round. In this point, the data that we have is the color yellow and the shape round. Okay, so uh, the data that we have here at this point uh, is a subgroup of the whole data. It is a subgroup of the whole data. Okay, so this is very important 
point about the decision tree that we are dividing our data into some subgroups and in each node of the decision tree we have a subgroup of the data except for the root node that we have all of the data okay and uh, this division of the data into subgroup this is being continued until we reach the leaf nodes the leaf nodes which are the classes at this stage uh, the process is stopped okay so what happens in the leaf nodes in the leaf nodes uh, all of the data in that point have the same label for example when the color is green and the size is big all of the data that we have in the training data is watermelon so we have put a leaf node here the watermelon okay another point about the decision tree classifier is that the, the, uh, the decision tree classifier is built in a recursive manner okay recursive means a function is recursive when it is calling itself I have a function that is calling itself this is called a recursive function the decision tree when we want to build it it has a recursive manner what does this mean it means that if you look at the tree in the root node we have a node and it, it has some child okay in this node shape this is a node and it has some child size and this okay and also so each of the nodes they have the same situation this node it has a size uh, uh, the root is the size and uh, here we ha uh, we have two branches big and small and these are the labels okay so the operation of uh, growing the tree is a recursive operation because all of the nodes are the same and they each of them could be assumed as a root node in their a special subtree okay for example I mean that uh, in this in this uh, situation the size is the root node for this tree okay so this is the meaning of the recursive and we have different decision trees for example IG tree C4.5 C5 CR J48 these are the many different decision trees that we have and here we want to talk about ID tree okay uh, the most important thing in a decision tree is how do we build the tree how do we build the tree
Okay. Building the decision tree. Uh, and when we want to build the decision tree, we have a criteria for selecting the best features. As you see in the uh, in the in this slide that we have said here that the, uh, the for building the decision tree we have a criteria for selecting the best features okay so we want to select the best features and put them in the decision tree and then do the classification based on this decision tree Different decision trees have different criteria for selecting best features. Okay. I will talk about the rest of this subject in the next video. Thanks.